Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to integrate interaction widgets into Survival Game Kit. So we're going to start by opening up your Survival Game Kit project and with the launcher we're just going to search for interaction widgets and we're going to do add to project and select your Survival Game Kit project and just press add to project. Uh, now we can get rid of this and we have our interaction widgets here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go Survival Game Kit, Blueprints, Items, then the Master Item and I'll just bring that over here and we'll select our static world mesh and we'll search for child actor like that and we'll name it widget and over here in our child actor class we'll change that to uh, search for full and full interaction widget add-on so we'll set that and we're also going to go to class settings and we're going to do uh, search for interaction interface like that and you can now compile and save this. Next, we're gonna go over to our survival game kit, blueprints, components, player inventory component. And in here, we're gonna search for interaction, interaction, and go to interaction line trace. Then we're gonna go to is inventory actor. And in here, we're gonna drag off from last hit, and we're gonna do clear target, like that. And we'll just connect that up like this that and then over here we're going to drag out again from last hit and we'll do current target and you can connect that up to here and here and then you do get master character and you can connect that up to our pawn then we're going to go back to interaction line trace and we're going to um, just drag this out so we've got a bit more space and we'll move this along to like here and we'll do get last hit and we'll do um, clear hit target and we'll do uh, we'll want an is valid as well so do is valid uh, and connect this up like this and then from here we'll also do toggle uh, widget sorry not toggle component toggle widget like that and then we can connect this up to here and then from here we'll connect it up to is not valid as well and then you can compile that so after that's done we're going to go back to showcase we'll go to spiral game kit uh, blueprints other enums and we'll right click and we're going to do uh, blueprints uh, enumeration we'll name this e underscore qualities and um, we're also going to um, go to open that up and then um, we're going to go content, interaction widgets, blueprints, um, qual uh, qualities, color. And in here, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to add all the names from this column into our uh, qualities here. Um, to add new ones, you just press a new. So I'm going to quickly do that. So once that's done, it should look like this in our uh, EE qualities. Um, then next, we're going to go to showcase. We're going to go. Um, to survival game kit blueprints and we'll go other and we're going to find the item details struct uh, we're going to press new variable and scroll down and we're going to change this to e underscore qualities uh, like that and we'll just call this qual quality and uh, then you can save this then we're going to go back to our master item and in here we're going to um, start setting some of these interface events so we'll start with set widget type that should be uh, full widget so that's fine um, set title um, that's going to be the name of our item so we want to tick return value and we'll do get item from that we can do item details and then we can drag out from here and do break and we can plug our name into the title like that. And I'm going to copy these first three nodes just to save a bit of time. Um, next, we're going to go to subtitle. For this, I'll probably use the um, category. So we'll drag out to this and we'll do to string, enum to string, like that. And we'll do, uh, we can plug that into our subtitle and we'll um, take the return value as well. Um, next is level. Um, there aren't really levels in survival game kits, so um, you you can use this however you like. Um, 
you just need to make sure that return value is ticked and then you obviously put your uh, whatever you want your level text to be into here um, but I'm going to leave that unchecked for now, now. Um, next we'll do uh, amount so we're going to do get item drag out from here break and we can plug our account into amount value and tick return value um, after that we have color so here we can do um, get Oh, we can paste in our nodes from earlier. Then we can expand this and we can do um, data table, get row uh, data table. And from here, we can do from quality, we'll do to string. Um, and we want enum to string, not um, byte. So that one, and then we can plug this into row name. And we'll set our data table to quality color. And from here we can drag out and do break and we can plug our dark into dark and light into light then after that we have key binds so uh, this will show up what keys we need to press to pick up the item um, this won't change the key that, that um, picks up items so keep that in mind this will only this is just display um, so by default it's E so we'll search for E and scroll down and we can find the E key and I'll just put um, action text to pick up item like that and you can have multiple um, key inputs if you like so you can just drag out and do make again and you can have uh, as many key inputs as you like um, but we'll just leave it as one for now um, next we have our details so um, in here these are sort of um, the information about the item that will show on the widget so uh, for this I'll do, um, we can paste in our nodes again, um, I'll do armor, so um, we can do, we'll tick return value and we'll drag out from here and I'll do make. And uh, we have our icon, so I'm pretty sure there's a shield icon, uh, one second let me just quickly check, um, interaction widgets, textures. Yeah, so I'm just going to copy the name of this so I can find it in our master item. So if I do this, we can find our shield icon. Uh, title will be armor, and statistic we want for uh, armor. Now you can do this for hunger, thirst, health, whatever you like, um, and you can do this for the additional details events along here. I'm just going to do armor uh, to give you guys an example. Um, and that should be it for these, so you can compile this now. So once that's compiled, we can go to the event graph, um, and we're gonna need to copy some events from interaction widgets. So go to interaction widgets, then blueprints, uh, examples, item example, and in here we can copy these events, and we'll go back to our master item, and we can paste those in here, uh, like that. And we're gonna go to, oh, compile that again. Next we can um, go to our survival game kit, blueprints, items, item list, and in here um, we can um, set our quality. So I'm just going to use the cardboard helmet for example. Um, so we know it has armor, it does have armor so that will show up. And we can set our quality down here for any of our items. I'll set this to epic just to uh, show you guys and then you can save that and we um, can hit play. This might take a second as it has to compile a bunch of stuff, but just give it some time. So once you're in, um, you might find that your items aren't here. If they're not, you can just save all and restart the engine and the items will show up again. But now you can see we've got our interaction widget showing up now. We can look at our helmet and uh, we've got our um, different color there. We've got our categories, our amount and our armor showing up there as well um, so and we can pick that up um, next I'm going to show you how to add um, interaction widgets to the storage crates um, yeah our weapons and stuff are being a bit weird so um, restarting the engine should fix this so I'm just going to do that quickly so I've just quickly restarted the engine you can see our weapons are fixed all I did was reopen the engine and it's uh, sorted that out so um, just do that and it should uh, fix any problems so next I'm going to show you how to bring up the um, interaction widget for opening chests so we're going to start that quickly 
So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our interaction widgets, blueprints, and we're going to go examples, and we're going to open up our item example here. Um, I'll bring that over, and we're going to delete. We're going to delete the uh, event interact, um, compile that. Then we can close that and we're going to go to blueprints, interfaces, interaction interface and we're going we're going to delete the interact event here. So just select it and press delete and then compile that. Then next we are going to um, open up our um, chest build part. So um, we'll do it for the usables. Um, I'm not going to go through every single one um, as the process is the same. Um, I'm just going to do it on the wood chest. Um, keep in mind that if you do it on the wood chest, this is for wood chests that are placed in the world by the editor. Um, you will need to do this as well for any of the build parts as well. So you'd need to uh, repeat the process for wood chest build part as well. Um, but I'm just going to do the uh, usables for the sake of an example. Um, so we can open that up and bring that over here. So now we're in our uh, BP wood chest, we can uh, select the mesh, do um, add component, do child actor, and we'll name this widget, and over here we're going to change it to basic, uh, basic interact uh, widget add-on, and we are also going to go to class settings and we're going to do add, and we'll search for interaction interface here, and we'll add that as well. Um, then we're going to just double click your mesh and that will bring us to the viewport and select the widget. We're just going to move it to a slightly better position, so something like this, so we will be able to see it. And then you uh, can compile that. So once that's done, we're going to go back to our master item. Uh, so survival game kit, blueprints, items, master item. And we're going to copy these events again and then uh, paste, them, oh, paste them into our event graph of our wood chest, like that and we are going to go to set widget type and we're going to change this to keybind widget and then we'll go to our keybinds uh, tick return value search uh, make and then um, make again and we'll do e again so e and then find uh, e and we'll just uh, set the action text to interact like that um, and we can compile that and save it as well. And we can quickly test this out, it should work. Um, give it a second to compile everything when you press play. So once we're in the game, we can see that our E interact is showing up. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hide the uh, survival game kit interaction uh, UI. You can see it's kind of on the screen there. Um, so to do that, we're gonna go to our survival game kit blueprints uh, HUD, and we can go to search for inventory and go to inventory HUD and in here we can find the interact border and we will change its visibility we can remove binding and we'll set it to hidden um, and you can compile that and now we'll quickly test that out should hide the uh, so we'll game kit UI now so if we go up to this we'll just have our um, interaction widgets uh, showing up So next, um, when you there's a feature in Soil Game Kit where you can have um, interaction timers where you'll be able to hold down a key and it will show you um, how long you've been holding it down for. Um, uh, interaction widgets doesn't really have anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort of make a replacement for that. Um, and to do that, we're going to take the border image from here and we're going to just drag it underneath um, here to um, underneath our crosshair and then we're going to change the anchor to center and we're going to default these positions we'll set the size to uh, 64 by 64 and we'll set the y position to um, do minus 32 by minus 32 i believe to get that centered um, if you want to hide these you can just select them and click a little y and it'll just tidy in the editor so you can see what you're doing. Um, so that looks about right, so we can compile that now. Then next we need to uh, make sure that this, um, wherever it's gone, border image is showing up when we're interacting. So we're going to um, 
add a new visibility binding. We'll do a uh, check of interactable item. And then we're going to go to that function and we're just going to edit it a little bit. So we'll copy this player inventory component and we'll do get uh, interact timer. Yeah. And then we'll do um, is valid and uh, if, if true, and if true off of here as well. Uh, we can drag these out. Um, if true, we want it visible, and if false, we want it not visible, like that. So we should be able to compile that now and save that. So next we can quickly try this out to make sure it's working. Uh, we can run over here and interact with the thing, and you can see our uh, indicators showing up. Obviously it's not the best looking thing, but um, it gives you an idea of how you can um, add your own, whether it's progress bar or something like that. Um, so the next thing is um, interactable foliage. Um, so you can see when we look at this, we get no sort of indication. Um, it's not going to be the same as the uh, widgets we get on items where they're kind of 3D in the world. Um, that's just because of the way instance uh, foliage works. Um, but what we will have is sort of a, a UI panel similar to um, how the UI works um, show up when we look at some foliage like this. Um, it will only work for interactable foliage, so stuff we can interact on. It won't work for something like a tree because it's not really, um, it's not really how the kit works. Um, but it will work for things like interactable foliage, like these these plants. Um, so we're going to start doing that now. Um, we're going to go to interaction widget, um, then blueprints, uh, widgets, and we're going to make a copy of. Um, see uh, item interactable widget we're going to duplicate that we'll call this pp underscore resource uh, widget like that and we can open that up and we'll go to the event graph and we'll make a new variable and we'll call it player inventory component like that and we'll change its type to player inventory component um, and you can compile that now and then we're going to go to our um, BP inventory HUD uh, and next we're going to go to our designer and we're going to search for uh, BP underscore resource no, and search for resource widget there we go and we can bring that in um, I'm just going to put it kind of here you can put it wherever you like um, but I'm going to change the anchor to center like that then next we're going to go to our graph and then we're going to go to event graph and we're going to find our uh, set quick slots um, references here. And in here, we're just going to drag this out here. And we're going to find our, our resource widget. And we'll get that. And we'll do set player inventory component like this. Connect that up. And we can just copy a player inventory component and paste that in there. And you can compile that. So next we're going to go back to our designer with our uh, widget selected here. We're going to um, create a visibility bind, so we're going to click bind, uh, create binding, and we're going to drag this out. We're going to do get player inventory component, then we're going to do get client hit, then from that, then from that we can do break, and then uh, hit uh, component we can do pass to BP interactable resource foliage component uh, we can connect that up to here and copy this change this to hidden and we'll connect up to cast failed and um, visible to visible um, then next uh, we can compile that quickly uh, we also want to do uh, drag out from uh, hit actor and do um, bp underscore interactable resource We'll connect up to false, and then if uh, true, we'll connect up to visible, and then if, uh, if cast fail, we'll connect that up to hidden, like that. And uh, we can compile that again. Next, we're going to go to our resource widget that we created. So we're going to go to resource widget, um, then we'll go to uh, get subtitle text. Um, once we're in here, we're just going to we're going to disconnect the beginning node. We'll uh, disconnect these as well. We'll just move these up here. Uh, connect that up and set this to uh, resource 
um, as this is the subtitle text, which is the category, so we'll just leave this as a resource. Um, then we'll go to get title text, and we're going to need to do, um, I'll move this up here, uh, we'll get player inventory component, then get client, let's see, get client hit, then we'll do break. <coughs> And we'll cast from the uh, hit component to, to interactable um, resource foliage component. Uh, from there, we should be able to get the get uh, resource get resource name, and we can copy this, paste this up here, connect this up to uh, the cast and the resource name up to here. Then if um, cast failed, we'll, cast, we'll drag from hit actor to cast to interactable uh, foliage actor and we'll copy this as well like that and if true we'll connect up to here and we'll get resource resource uh, get name um, give me one second I'll quickly look Okay, so we need to change this to a um, interactable resource. So um, again, from hit actor interactable uh, resource uh, like that, and connect that up to cast failed. Um, this here, and then we'll get resource name like that, and we'll connect that up to here. And then uh, if that fails, we'll um, hide it. So uh, let's move all of this out of the way a second. Copy, paste this here, and connect that up to here. Um, now we can probably c uh, copy all of these, not uh, these nodes here, save us some time. Um, go to get level text. Um, resources don't really have levels in the survival game kit, so for this I'm just going to leave it blank, but if you wanted to um, add levels to your um, resources, you could add them to uh, this blueprint here and this blueprint here and then you'll just be able to drag out from here search for your variable name and you'll be able to connect it up um, but for the sake of this video I'm just going to um, leave it blank um, I will put in this as well just to uh, uh, hide it like that then uh, we'll go to get amount and we'll disconnect this here move this up and we'll paste oh, let's go back to our get title and we'll just copy these nodes and go back to get amount and we can connect this up to here and from here we should be able to get resource yeah and from that we'll get class defaults and we will copy these nodes paste them here and we'll use the resource variable and we'll connect that to here. And then uh, we'll copy these again, paste them down here. And from here, we'll be able to do uh, get resource, get resources. And we can connect that to here as well. Um, and then we can copy this one, paste that here. So this will hide it if, it, if the cast fails to both of these um, like that. And um, give me a second, I'll just check something. So next for our um, get widget color, we're gonna have to add some new variables um, to our um, interactable resource foliage component. So we're gonna go uh, showcase, um, survival game kit, uh, clear the search. We're gonna go blueprints, um, foliage components, and then we want interact interactable resource foliage component here. And we're going to add a new variable. We'll call this um, uh, quality. And we'll tick the i as well. And we want to change the type to e underscore qualities and compile that. And we're also going to do the same thing for our uh, blueprints, resources, um, interactable resource. Um, again, create variable quality. Uh, tick the i again and change it to e underscore 
qualities like that and you can compile that so next we can go to uh, back to our resource widget um, and go to widget color and in here we're going to um, make some space and we're going to do get player inventory component get client hit uh, and then we'll do break and from our hit component we'll do um, cast to interactable uh, BP interactable foliage component like that and then from that we can do get uh, quality like that and we'll also do from our hit actor pass to interactable foliage actor connect that up and we'll get quality get uh, one second and I'll have a look so we need to change this cast to our uh, interactable resource, sorry about that. Cast to interactable uh, resource. And we can connect that up to fail. And we'll do get quality, there we go. And uh, from this, we can do um, uh, get quality color here, this is done. And from that, we'll connect up to here. Uh, we can delete this uh, here. And we'll connect this up to here. Dark to dark color, light to light. Um, row name, if you right click the pin and do split pin, we will do uh, qualities color. And we will do um, to string, enum to string. And connect that to here. And we will uh, copy this as well, like that. And we'll do the same thing down here. Just connect these up and connect this up to here, like that. And we can connect uh, from here into get dynamic material. And you can compile that now. So next, we're going to go back to our showcase. And um, in interaction widgets, blueprints, widgets, we are going to make a copy of our keybind widget. So we'll duplicate that and we'll open that up. And we're going to select our uh, e text and we're going to um, remove the binding. And the same for pickup text, we'll remove that binding as well. Um, and we can compile that. Then we're going to go back to our um, resource widget. We'll go to designer and we will go uh, keybind um, uh, search for sorry um, key keybind binding widget one and we'll drag and add that to our um, keybinds grid like that um, and compile that then we're going to go to the event graph um, event graph and we're going to uh, we will disconnect this here, um, so we just have these nodes connected up now. Also, we're just going to go to our get title text function and make sure that this is set to uh, hidden, not collapse, um, and then uh, you can compile that. One other thing we're going to quickly do is we're going to go back to our um, BP inventory HUD, go to designer, select your uh, widget, and do size to content, um, and then you can compile that. And now we can uh, test this out. So if we hit play, um, we can run over to one of our interactables. Um, we have our um, widget showing up there. Um, if you want to change the color, I'll quickly show you how to do that. Um, so if we go to blueprints, uh, foliage component, and uh, I open up the stick resource, which is what those little plants use. Um, we have a quality variable here, so I can set this to uh, common, for example, um, and compile that. Um, you also want to set it for um, in blueprints go to resources and I believe there's a bush resource as well and you'll want to change it here as well so you can see quality is junk that's uh, too common as well and we can test this out quickly and you can see that our uh, colors changed there um, and we still have our uh, items showing up as well so one last thing we have to do is we need to go to survival game kit, blueprints, then items, master item, and we need to double click our current target event. 
that will bring us into our interaction interface um, polygram. We can select this node and we want to add a new input. I'm going to set it to actor, actor, object reference. I'm going to name this owner and you can compile that. Then go back to the master item blueprint and we're going to search for self and plug that into owner and then we need to go to our interaction widgets, blueprints, interact add-ons and full interact widget add-on and don't worry about these, you won't have these um, so what we'll do is we'll copy this here and you can paste this in here and connect it up and you want to take the owner pin and plug that into the interact actor so it should look like this in your full interact widget add-on and then you can compile this go back to your master item and compile this it will take a second because it has to compile the child blueprints once that's done you can uh, try it out everything should be working now um, if we hit play it might take a while to uh, load when you hit play for the first time so just let it load so now we're in a game, we're running on a dedicated server we can see our items are uh, showing up their uh, um, UI we can drop them, you can see we can see them still we can run over to our um, resources and that will show those as well so hopefully you guys found this useful, thanks for watching